Hi, in this video we'll be looking at how to create a calculated field in your query design. We're going to go to create here and uh, we, we're going to go to query design and uh, we're going to add our table here. In this case we're working with items and we're going to add and close and uh, let's say we want to find the total cost so we're going to have, hmm, let's put item name unit price, quantity, and we're going to have as our calculated field total cost. I'm going to zoom up a little bit because I wanted to see what is happening here. So I'm going to right click in the next column here, that's uh, the fourth column, and zoom. I'm going to make my font a little bit bigger because I wanted to see what is there. Uh, let's make it 28. It was, okay, good. Alright, so in this case wanted to make it uh, total cost, so we have total cost and uh, we're gonna have a colon there so what we have here is the name of the calculated field followed by the colon all right and uh, then we're gonna have the calculation usually if you're gonna have calculated fields that involve uh, not a field or column in your table then you have to use square brackets to enclose those column names or field names so we're going to multiply unit price by quantity to give the total cost here. So I'm going to say unit price. It has to be the same spelling and the same way you have it already there. So we have unit price and unit price will be multiplied by quantity to give us total cost. So we have that here. All right, so that's quantity. And then we end with our square bracket there. So it's total cost, colon, name of the calculated field total cost, followed by the colon right here. And then we have the calculation part, which in this case is unit price times, the asterisk here is used to represent the multiplication, times quantity. So we can go ahead, click on OK, and it pops up here. And uh, we can go ahead and run. So on the query tools design, make sure you're there and you can either view or run. So we're going to click on run and what do you know we have our total cost and notice here it's if you do a calculation yourself you notice that this would be correct so it's 10 times 50 which would give you $500 and so on and so forth. So if this video actually helped you please click on the like button and remember to leave a comment and also to subscribe. Thank you for watching.